Hey, future band ass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business podcast, where each episode we're going to walk you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open. Today's episode, we're going to be discussing why you need to know your business numbers from day one. The next few episodes, we're going to talk about your business numbers. And I will tell you, business owners that understand their business numbers are way more successful than those that don't. If you only pay attention to one episode, please pay attention to this one. You must know your business numbers, period. The end. Do not pass go. Do not collect $100. Your business numbers hold the key to the profits you hope to make in your business. Remember, this is a profit game, not a sales game. Way too many small businesses chase sales versus ensuring the sales they do create are profitable. Earlier, we discussed if you plan to own a job or or a business. Most business owners actually just own a job as they make a good living as an employee, but not so much as a business owner. In order to be a successful business, there must be profits in the business, so this way you can reinvest back into the business, pay your taxes, and then take an owner's draw for the time you spend running the business. This episode will not contain everything you need to know, but we will highlight a few things. I spent a lot of time on knowing your business numbers on both the Badass Business Owner podcast as well as the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to those. The cool thing with the YouTube channel is there's a visual component that helps a lot of folks who are more visual learners. So you'll want to check that out. So why do so many small business owners struggle with knowing their business numbers? Well, sometimes it's just a plain lack of knowledge, but sometimes it's the lack of time. But ultimately, it really comes down to it's a lack of desire to even know them. Some folks hate math and just assume it is a bunch of ghibli gop. For others, the business side is not the sexy side of the business for them, so they just don't pay attention. But I beg to differ. The numbers show the true success of the business, and I've watched people that hate math get really excited about their business numbers because your business numbers are telling the story of your business's success. There are folks in your town or city right now that look busy as heck, and you're jealous of that success. But would it shock you to know that many of those people that are running around like chickens with their heads cut off with tons of business are actually barely scraping by and the business is barely afloat. I recently saw a business that did $7 million, but at the end of the day, they only kept 3% of that. And if you do the math, that's only $200,000, $7 million. And all they were able to keep at the end of it was 200,000. While it's a lot of money, it's not that much when you compare it to the $7 million they took in. Think about it. Would you rather have a $7 million business making $200,000 or a $1 million business making that same amount of money? Odds are you will work way fewer hours and have a lot fewer headaches with one over the other. I get that numbers can be overwhelming. And when you look at the reports, it looks like someone just threw up a bunch of numbers on a page. But let me ask you a question. Let's say you have a four-year-old child. Do you just hand them a book and tell them to read it? No, you first teach them the alphabet, and then you're going to move on and teach them that if you put the letters together, they spell words, C-A-T. And then you teach them sentences, the cat in the hat, and eventually they can read the entire book. The same goes for you and your business numbers. My goal each week is to help you understand these business numbers. So this way you're more successful and you can understand the story that your profit and loss is telling you. You already know numbers and you already know if you put the numbers together, they give you a set of numbers. Let's figure out what those numbers are trying to tell you. What is the story of your business? Now you might be asking yourself, This sounds great, but what numbers do I need to know? Well, you need to learn how to read your profit and loss statement for sure. And we'll go over the profit and loss statement in a future episode. But keep in mind, your profit and loss, often called your P&L, is your business's report card. It shows you the flow of money through your business. Money comes in, money goes out, and in the end, hopefully it's going to be profitable. The P&L can be for any period of time. So a lot of times you'll get one for each month, but you can also watch it month over month over month to see the flow of money from month to month. But you'll also always have year to date numbers. And this is going to tell you how the business is doing overall for the year. And you can use that as a beacon for good and bad overall. Plus you can compare it year over year. So you can compare February to this year to February last year. You can compare your 2021 to your 2020 or your 2024 to your 2023, whatever the case may be, whenever you're listening, the possibilities are endless, but it's going to give you tons of information. 
Now, in the next episode, I'm going to go over the number one calculation you need to know and how it plays into your profit and loss, as well as your pricing. It is the only calculation that I ask people to memorize, and it helps you more than you will ever know. You need to know how to price correctly. And so we're going to have an episode when it comes to pricing as well. But your pricing is a science. It isn't about being the cheapest out there. This isn't a race to the bottom. It is about setting a price that is fair for the value they get. But at the end of the day, your business must create a profit. Now, my goal is not to overwhelm you, but rather to set a stage in the importance of knowing your business numbers. By making this a priority from day one, it not only sets you on the path to profits immediately, it will give you a huge advantage over your competition who is only thinking about top line, also known as sales. You will use your business numbers to prepare better for seasonal swings. Plus you can use your best months to help you survive those months that aren't so swift. You'll start to learn which jobs you should say yes to and which ones you need to run away from. Listen, if you want to create a hundred thousand dollar income in your business, the key is going to be knowing your business numbers so you can make the right decisions day to day. Okay, let me wrap this one up so you can hop on over to our next episode where we talk about that number one calculation you really need to know because I promise you it's gonna be a quick and easy tool to help you be profitable. So make sure that you plan on understanding your business numbers. And by the way, I do have a course in understanding your business numbers that you'll see. Plus, like I said, the YouTube channel, we start to break down all the business numbers and show you visually what they are. So make sure you check out the YouTube channel as well. Now let's get on over to the next episode and start learning those business numbers. Bye for now.